Hey what's up guys, how's it going and welcome back to another FIFA 16 Ultimate Team video. So if you haven't seen, a guy called Dabo, he's in this week's Team of the Week. He was a right back, he had himself an informed silver in the right back position, but now he's actually been converted to that centre mid spot and he's got some really nice well balanced stats. So I wanted to see whether or not he was a cheap beast. And with dabbing, like there's a lot of hype around that, Dabo, Dab, together the Dabo, I don't know. I just wanted to see if he was good. So if you do enjoy, drop a like. And the, and the actual team that I've put him in is 11,000 coins. Well, excluding him. But 11,000 coins is cheap. So if you want any ultimate team coins, head over to FIBAultimateteamcoins.com. Links below in the description. Use the code Fuji for a discount. Or if you're wanting game codes or games, actually purchase games, then head over to G2A and use the code Fuji. Right, let's get into it. So I did tell you guys the team was cheap. And it's going to be costing anywhere between like 10 to 15,000 coins if you take out... The Dabo guy. So if you take him out, it's, it's a very, very cheap side, and that's what I like about it. And also, it was very, very quick for counter attacks. You've got Sherlock and Alessandrini blistering pace there, and it was. It was just a great team to use. So in goal, we have Carasso. In the right back position, we have Vanderbilt. Yes, he's got himself that in form. Obviously, it is a little bit better, but you can get away with using the non-informed Vanderbilt. He's very, very good on the ball. We've got Sané, but well, we've got two Sanés in the side, and I was a little confused which one was the better one because there was one Sané popping up and getting loads of tackles in. Came to realise that it was the centre-back, although... He doesn't have too much pace, but he's really, really good. Well, not I wouldn't say he's really, really good, but he's actually decent. But that Sané there is much better. Then we've got Digilobogi. I, I always get this guy's name wrong. Digilobogi. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, he's on loan from Chelsea to uh, Verde Bremen. Then we've got Rodriguez, left back, who's going for 1,700 coins. What a steal for the quality that you're bringing in. When he first came out, he was like 17 to 20k. Very, very good player. Then another really good player is Castro. He was, I'm going to have to say, he was the star player in the side. Not only picking up goals, but tracking back, helping the team. Then we've got that Sané in there. Then we have Dabo. Look at these stats. 76 pace, 76 shots, 75 passing, 76 dribbling, 77 defense, and 80 physical. Really nice and balanced there. Then we have Alessandrini, who's just so overpowered. Ben Yedda, you you guys know how much I like him and then Shirley is a tidy player so overall you've not only got very very good attackers but you've got a good base in midfield where Sané is going to stay back and get the tackles in and I like how the CDM when, when I'm using this formation I always look for that CDM to have less pace just so when I am well when I do have possession he's going to take his time to push up so if I do lose it he's just stuck there he's, he's too slow to move so he's there always in the correct position so yeah I think we're ready to go and have a look at the clips See what I thought about the Dabo. Well, da just Dabo. Yeah, so we're ready. Let's go. Oh, man, he sucks. He's the worst player in the team. But no, let me break it down for you guys. So Dabo, he was a right back. And I'm sure he's solid in that position. But when you're bringing him into that center mid spot, he doesn't have any outstanding stats. He's just a balanced card. And with that, I found that he was actually really slow on the ball just to turn and, and hold on to possession. And when I first looked at this card with all, all of these balanced 76 to well, even 80 on the physical, I thought he could be... He may be just a cheap Pogba, someone like that. But unfortunately, uh, he's not. He's just he's just an average player. And for an inform, I was expecting a lot more. But again, you can use the team. The, the actual formation was just working really well with the players that I picked. And the attack was very, very nice. So if I were to recommend the team to you, 100%. But maybe drop Dabo and bring in just... Or you're just looking for a French centre mid from the uh, Liga 1, pretty much. Or if you can... Uh, yeah, you, you will need a French guy for max chemistry. So overall, I would actually say not to really bother and waste your coins on Dabo. Although, I didn't I didn't lose that much. He was only 17,000 coins. And for 17k, you could build the whole team. And it's much better than Dabo. So yeah, I, I kind of am a little bit disappointed with the guy. But overall, the defense, the midfield, and the attack was very well balanced. So if you are wanting to build a cheap team, just have some fun on ultimate team, then go forward and, and build it. But yeah, just... The Stabo doesn't really cut out for a centre mid, nor it probably doesn't even cut out for a right back. I've never used his inform nor his non inform, but this second inform gold. Yeah, stay clear of it. It's not that great. So let me know if you've actually used him before. I may even bring him down to the CDM spot, but I just felt like his overall tackling and just way he, way he fell, it was just wasn't that good. So guys, if you have enjoyed, please do drop a like on the video. Let me know any other Team of the Week players you would like me to build a cheap uh, team around as well. I'm loving the cheap teams at the minute because every player seems to have dropped in price. So it's just awesome. So yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys on my next video. Peace out. Peace.